Well, they start standing up. Uh, let's just get rid of the CD. Where's the legend? All right, cool. So this is how we're going to set it up the double. And I stop him right here, right? He's got his head to the outside. He's got a knee down. See above his shoulder and in front of his. So my, my blade's right into his throat. Then I'm going to reach in and I'm going to grab my wrist right here. A lot of times I end up just grabbing without the thumb right here. It just kind of depends on how, far, or how crazy he's going. So I'm here. I got the guillotine locked in. And now I'm just going to sit down and close my guard. So I got the guillotine, I turn my blade with my left arm up, and then I stretch him, and I pull his head down while kinking sideways. I'm gonna crank him down and back, and then to the side. And I'm turning the blade of my arm into the throat, not the top of the arm. So when I go to finish it, I turn it up so that goes straight into his neck. I just go straight into it. And be careful with each other not to hurt your necks when you do this, but see I grab the grip, I get my legs locked up, and I apply the choke, okay? So I just start slowly going with that, and then we'll work on I go from here, he defends, I move my arm to the inside now, I grab above my hand, and just rip it up there. That's the defense, so I go in front of his shoulder now, and I grab above his hand, right here, and I get it tight, now I'm moving up. But you guys, crank it over, right? One, two, three. I felt I heard it. What do you think so far? It's a great seminar. I mean, Mongoose is the guillotine specialist of the Pacific Northwest. So, I mean, learning from him, that's going to be, you're going to, you get, if you get his game down, you're going to have the best guillotine in the, in the BMW. So, it's great. He defends it. So, when he defends it, my left side, my left arm, the blade, was what was doing the choking. So, now he's grabbing onto that blade. So, now I can't choke him with this. So, that's where I go here, poke it through, and I grab way above that. A lot of you guys are still like over here deep and you're still getting it, but you're just powering through his, his defense. So what I'm doing is I'm letting him pull it to the side and I'm using my right blade now to choke him with. This isn't doing any choking anymore. It's moving to the side so my right side can go in front now. This was in front doing the choking. He defends it. I let him pull it over. And now this blade's in front, ready to choke. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's better. You can still move it a little bit more. A little bit more this way. Yeah, I still want to move it. I was still going to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push it in against one of the last. Guillotine. Watch it, watch it, watch it. I'm going to get the darts again. Finish. Now he goes to his knees. And now I sit in to go for Pass the knee. Fall to the side. I'm going to do the Darce once. I go for the guillotine. I don't even really want to finish it this time. I just sit back, put the butterfly hook in. Follow him. And I make sure I turn that blade into his throat every time. So that's how I finish. Okay. The game I like to do is uh, a lot of changing positions and just keeping hold of stuff and just keep the action moving. They get tired. Works out real well. A lot of scrambles. Just keep going for it from everywhere. So I'm here. Build the face. Sweet. So from here, look, he's already defending. So see his arms? He's defending. That's what he would be doing to stop me from, from choking him from right here. So now what I have to do is I keep my face on the ground and my shoulder on the ground. And I lift my hips up so I can take my hand out. And I go in front of him. And just like before, I grab above his hand with my right hand, and I pull up close to his, to his neck. So that way my right blade's doing the choking, and I take my right elbow and put it on the mat next to his shoulder. I got the Harmon guillotine. I can't get it right. I'm trying. He defends. So I let go. I lift my hips up, and I go in front of my body, so I have the space, and I grab above his hand. And I do that, I adjust, adjust a little bit, so my hand is right next to his throat. I don't want to be down here away from his throat. 
I want to be right next to his throat. Especially because I'm pulling on it. Yep. Put it to the side for me. I get my blade right up against his throat. And now... I like him being able to see it now and I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's for real, that makes sense, right? <laughs> that's great. Yeah, you're strong. <laughs> Thank you, brother. That was good. What do you think about the seminar, Greg? I love it. Yeah? Yeah, no, guillotines and stuff are a big empty hole in my game. I need to practice them. Which do you feel like is the piece you'll like implement the most in your game? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm kind of rolling it back to the concept, you know, how to get the head down and this arm up. So there's, you know, all the fine details are great for people, in my opinion, that have already kind of mastered the guillotine. But for me, I'm going back to the concepts of grabbing, head to one side, elbow up, and practicing it, not just watching the DVD or something, but actually practicing it. That was great. Appreciate you, man. Great. Love it. Do you uh, mind giving your thoughts on the seminar? Yeah, it's good. Ryan, Ryan knows his stuff. Uh, the, the extra detail of how to snatch a different kind of guillotine when they're defending the normal style is super cool. And I love the technique. It's awesome. You feel like you're definitely going to implement some of this into your game? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Louis, you mind giving your thoughts on the seminar, bro? Oh, uh, yeah. Ryan's an, an animal. I, uh, I've been, I've been had my neck choked by Ryan, cranked by Ryan for 10 years. Yeah? Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Thoughts on the seminar? So, a lot of things, I'm definitely going to fuck some people up with it here. Hell yeah. Just glad he came by. Hell yeah. Thank you. Hey, bro. I know you're training with him. You want to give me your thoughts on the seminar? Good. Attention to detail, tight chokes. Yeah. Lots of shit, coffee. No COVID, lots of coffee. Oh, I feel you, I feel you. So, as a blue belt, what's your what's your best advice for white belts trying to, to make the come up? Breathe. Breathe? Easy. Focus on being chill. Hold somebody down who's better than you. Don't try to sub them, just hold them in side control. And build your frames. It. You got any social media you want to plug? IG handle or anything uh, like that? I'm just Elijah. I'm just <laughs> right on. Appreciate you, bro. All right, you guys. My battery's about to die. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video here. I hope you enjoyed the seminar. I'm going to be making a trip up to MABJJ Spokane, Spokane Valley Jiu-Jitsu, to do an interview and some filming with Professor Ryan at his gym. I really want to say thank you so much for letting me film this to, to document some of your journey and some of your, your, your secrets. Uh, and uh, I really appreciate everybody who's watching this, who likes, subscribes, comments. Uh, it means the world to me. You have no idea how much it helps us. <laughs> Hope you had a blast. I, this is my home. <laughs> much love, respect to all. See you on the mats.